Welcome to another movie. Uh, so this time I will show product that I uh, I did not wanted to show because I got this uh, quite uh, smashed in the uh, 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 in the post because they probably put something on it and uh, smashed the the boat a little bit. Uh, so uh, first of all, what we have in here is a uh, torpedo bo uh, boat or rocket boat I have no idea what exactly it is it's a uh, one uh, 115 scale RC uh, ship it's a torpedo ship uh, with lights and many many uh, those accessories uh, not the details oh, many details it's a really great boat I can tell you already that so it's uh, 14 plus uh, ears, uh, simulate lights, uh, the camp has a light inside, uh, full direction, there are two propellers that are separately uh, controlled by a remote, of course a radio, not a 2.4 GHz, it's a uh, 30 Hz if I remember, because 2.4 uh, GHz doesn't uh, like uh, the water. It's a Hang Tai HT 28778 model because uh, there is no information on the internet. You will not find any movies probably. Maybe now you, when you watch it, uh, you can do that. But mostly you will not find any information about this. So that's why I will still show this one. Uh, I'm trying to move it uh, really uh, gently. Uh, some uh, de detail information in here here is the boat itself so uh, you may notice that uh, these uh, these two antennas will not be the same in my ship because uh, uh, they smash it and smash the both antennas so I needed to uh, reconstruct it just to to have it uh, uh, look still nice uh, okay so uh, let me turn off the camera because I need to really gently take this uh, out because of this uh, uh, all of those uh, d details and I will show you the top of the box because I don't want to oh no it wait I can do that very gently but I can do that here you have three shapes sorry uh, I'm uh, I doesn't read uh, Chinese if I uh, understand or Japanese sorry for me it's uh, mostly the same uh, so the three uh, boats show in here this one is probably a airboat is uh, if, as far as I see but uh, though uh, this uh, this one is is the one that uh, I have I think it's the one that I have uh, look uh, really similar so uh, okay let me put it back it is secured uh, on on size but I really took some time to restore uh, this one so really <laughs> I'm uh, carrying it really gentle just to not smash it uh, because uh, I really like this boat and that's why I want to show it and this one will stay uh, with me I will not sell this one uh, and probably I don't know if I will test it on the water but for sure I will print a stand for it and probably will stand on a shelf uh, just because of the look of this uh, machine okay so let me take it out okay here is the boat but first, uh, what would what do we get? We get, of course, a charger, a wall charger, because I am in Poland. I need to use an adapter for it, uh, just to use in my socket. It is uh, designed for 110 and 240 volts, so that's not a big problem. The, there is a, a nice CD uh, battery, so it's uh, better for the battery to discharge it because before we charge it, we get a telescopic antenna I know not everyone is used to uh, see these antennas but for the water it's always uh, better to have a uh, low frequency uh, antennas 
because uh, as far as I read uh, on the water the 2.4 gigahertz doesn't work so good when it's under the water and the low frequency uh, remotes uh, are so uh, there is a I think I put the wrong screw but I have no idea I just don't use the screws mostly I just take it off because it's still holding uh, it's using two double A batteries so of course I do have two on the desk Uh, there is no on off button so it's working right away and now about the boat sorry for showing it uh, like this let me uh, adjust the cap a little bit okay I needed to turn off because my camera fall off uh, sorry for showing it like this but uh, and that's because I don't have any stand for it and I don't want to break uh, anything under and actually it should stand oh, actually it is standing but I just for uh, not uh, scratching it uh, so I do did have a uh, bro uh, broken antennas I need to uh, uh, wash it a little bit uh, because there is marks of the glue because the bigger antenna need a lot of glue to to have it. Uh, what happens is uh, this uh, this uh, protection uh, uh, open like this and uh, while shipping this thing fall off and started to run uh, on the desk uh, all the torpedoes were off and uh, antennas were off uh, and some smaller parts but not broken just uh, fall off that's why I uh, needed a lot of work to restore it and uh, this um, there was a bulb in here and I replaced it with the lead because uh, bulb will heat up and I don't need that I just need to uh, just wanted to have lights in, inside so uh, let's see the bolt first I will take it on here is the bolt itself many details let me show you like this uh, um, okay I took off the stickers there was M1 the stickers on the torpedoes and power on the uh, on this uh, tanks I don't know what that is but uh, maybe mines or something like that but I took it off it's uh, looking much more better without it uh, you have uh, two cannons on the rear and on the front uh, mostly the plastic is uh, uh, rubbery so uh, everything uh, is quite hard to, to destroy but if it's shipped like a uh, normal post uh, did not survive I know I have cracked this um, uh, rail but it's not a big deal I still just like how everything looks uh, together uh, so you have uh, uh, rails probably to uh, launch it I don't uh, don't know what this is but I think it's for launching those tor uh, torpedoes uh, sorry I'm not a uh, sail engineer <laughs> Uh, you have a cannon on the front uh, in here you have a uh, testing uh, pad you just uh, put button uh, put your finger on it and you can test it without wa water uh, I don't see any uh, connections on the bottom so I have no idea how it's detecting maybe through this holes but I I open it and I did not uh, check that sadly so I hope maybe on the back it's uh, on the propeller somewhere but uh, so far I I did not uh, find it uh, of course I did not test it on the water I just uh, rebuild it I really like repair, uh, repairing some uh, stuff you have a on off button in here um, moving to the back so this part from the top was uh, on this thing this one was broken so I did glue it but I was not able to glue this in here because it's so small 
also this part in here was on both sides uh, I don't think you will get a broken one like uh, I do so uh, don't uh, look at this uh, like uh, it's it will be broken because I uh, I don't think uh, this will happen to you probably somewhere uh, on the pause day and smash it but uh, believe me I don't think you will get uh, damage like I did so it's a really great uh, ship so this part should be on both sides uh, because there was one missing I cut the second one and just glue it uh, on the back just to have it uh, more detailed uh, it's looking much more better now uh, moving back you have another cannon and you have a really long antenna that's because of the low frequency it's, uh, the antenna needs to be uh, really uh, long so you have lights inside let me turn off this light uh, and I turn it on there is lights oh, I think I turn off the second one also uh, lights is above the water so it, nothing will happen but I put a hot glue inside just to seal it also uh, uh, the receiver and everything I turn it on back the receiver and uh, all the electronic is uh, in a bo sealed box but there was uh, not enough silicone on the cables that why I used the uh, hot glue uh, to secure uh, everything. I don't think it will be damaged because the uh, board is uh, screwed uh, just under the desk and it's above the box so even if the water gets into the box it's still uh, above it. Uh, I replace uh, the light with the uh, as you can see warm white uh, it's really hard to take it off uh, not uh, damaging everything uh, so let me put more to the side uh, I, I'm using a 3mm uh, warm uh, white uh, LED with a 220 uh, ohms uh, resistor to, uh, to have it um, with the full light so you can see it in the, in the dark uh, here you have the battery let me open it battery cover have a uh, rubber also the uh, same as the uh, the cover here you have the battery it's a knee cd uh, a8 uh, 800 milliamps uh, 6 volt uh, so uh, for this battery you need to discharge it before charging it because those battery doesn't like uh, when you uh, uh, charge it uh, when it's not fully discharged that's why for NCD you can always find a discharger that's uh, wait, wait, ah, like this I replaced the screws because uh, that one mm, actually didn't uh, hold it enough I put a washers, uh, spring washers to uh, keep it really tight in there and also I did the same thing here just to have it uh, really hard also they uh, they like to break off uh, in the in here that's why the, uh, the screws are longer and uh, going more through to hold it really hard also in uh, in here I did the same thing so uh, don't look uh, at it uh, that you will get also a uh, damaged one uh, I don't think so I never get it's the first time I get something broken from Bangor so uh, I don't believe uh, that uh, if I will uh, order another one I will get uh, uh, again a damaged one so uh, don't blame the Bangor it's always the post so you have dual motors in here with the propellers I didn't get a spare one but that's not a big problem uh, I have a battery inside so I can show you how it's working I need to set it just to not uh, catch the foil in uh, the propellers and try to get it in the camera so we turn it on the LED is working I have my batteries in here so I'm holding the uh, testing mechanism 
here is the one but I'm trying to set it set the angle better and here is the second one you control uh, both propellers uh, separately oh I can oh that that this thing have some power some speed maybe not the power uh, according to the uh, box uh, or to the description of this uh, boat is about four kilometers per hour I don't think this propeller will uh, give enough uh, uh, power to push it faster but those uh, these boats like this one uh, are not fast because uh, of the uh, of the load and uh, how heavy they are and how much I don't think they, uh, they are designed to be really fast so I, as you can see now it's not working if I click it it's working for a short time so I don't know if I need to uh, put some water on it or uh, it will uh, just uh, detect the water maybe they are using the motor shaft to, to test it because I just don't see any other contacts on the bottom but I will maybe I will test it on the water be, uh, because I'm not uh, fully interested in that because I just like how this looks it's really really amazing model that's why um, uh, still if uh, I'm showing a repair model I just wanted to show you because this model is amazing it's not expensive it's quite heavy it's a really big it's uh, probably the same uh, size as my Thallium Thallium I think uh, Thallium FT009 if I remember I have two speed boats and it's uh, probably the same size as this one but this one look much better so if I will test it I uh, I will take uh, also one of the failure bolts bo because if the battery uh, discharge uh, in the middle of the uh, lake I will uh, have a hard time to get it that's why I will get uh, take my uh, speed boat just to be able to hold it uh, when the battery will start to die and uh, test it but still I have no idea if I will do that uh, also uh, sorry I did forget to tell you this is the drain uh, for the water uh, it's a plastic uh, if the water get into the, the boat uh, uh, inside maybe there are some holes that will get it you just open it and just uh, pour the wall, uh, water out and just close it uh, back so that's quite nice because uh, because my volume doesn't have it uh, I just uh, take the top off and put the, uh, put the water out so uh, if I will test it uh, now you will see, uh, see it if not the movie will end because I have no idea if I want to put it in the water <laughs> but uh, if not, uh, see you again. If I will do that, you can see it now.